Shaitan Abis. Some of those who are comparatively imaginative regard Kama Mayakosha, the crude mind, as the root or soul. Some identify the astral minds like Atimana's Vijayanamaya and Hiranamaya Kosha with soul. The real preceptor, possessed of the knowledge of the divine truth, from whom you will learn the Brahmic knowledge, will make you understand that the soul is a lot subtler than these koshas or cells of the mind, each of which is mutable and so evanescent or transitory. The soul alone is eternal, so the happiness that you will get with the attainment of spiritual knowledge will be eternal happiness, and that is why it is called Ananda, or Divine Bliss. Ananda is not to be had from transitory things. The transitory or temporal things will come and go. Sometimes they will make you laugh, and sometimes they will make you weep. No matter how endearing the temporal things may be, one day they will surely and undoubtedly leave you in the lurch, and objectively beggarly. But he will not make you wail. He is an eternal, non-evolutive, immutable entity. The Yama said, O Nashiketa, the grand gateway to the realm of God, lies open before you. He who has acquired a thorough knowledge of mental objects, has verily acquired the knowledge of both the perishable and the imperishable. With the development of mental faculties, as one proceeds from piecemeal happiness to higher happiness or ananda, one gets more and more inclined towards mental happiness in preference to physical happiness. For the love of country or such other subtle happiness, man makes no bones to lay down his life. These are actually the signs of the preponderance of human mind. The happiness of cats and dogs is physical. In such receptacles as their mental happiness cannot have the priority, beat them and cater call them to eat some de delectable food they will come running after it. But a man is reluctant to stand any little lack of warmth or any little blow on his mind. The one who serves you under circumstantial pressure and keeps your mind constantly humored by his psychophancy is actually at heart not very pleased with you. He remains constantly eager to fly from this thraldom. You cannot conquer the human mind through circumstantial pressure. Through Astanga Yoga, Asadakas conscious of Asadaka conscious of their bodies and cells can gradually awaken their dormant mental powers, and with the help of developed minds, they can eventually establish themselves in city or spiritual selfhood. In this city, one gets real ananda. So I say, get the intuitional knowledge from a proper preceptor. You can learn this through empirical knowledge. Intuitional knowledge cannot be gained from books. For this, one has to go to a preceptor with devotion and reverence. Try to awaken devotional bent and bias. It will come to you if you so wish. Once the devotion is awakened, you shall get God's mercy without any doubt. Mahad Kripayaeva Bhagavad Kripaleshadva Dharma Chakra End of Discourse